thing almost has a mind of its own. As for the motorcycle moment, it overstays its welcome, but thankfully Vin Diesel doesn't show up halfway through with double guns riding a jet ski. That would have been absurd. All right, let's move this on. Set phasers to done. <laughs> Klon, bring up conclusion. Klon, Klon, Klon! But it's also very generic, very run of the mill, very, very much like this show. They do what they want to do, say what they want to say, live how they want to live, play how they want to play, dance how they want to dance, kick into slap a friend Adam's family. What? That's the lyrics? Kick into slap a friend? The fuck does that even mean? I'm leaving today. I Aurora is not typically talked about when comparing hottest Disney princesses, but I think that's insulting. She's a beauty, if you ask me. A sleeping beauty. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Let's move on to the final round. Wow, great transition, Adam. Shut up, me. Plus victory. Fatality. Lex did a great job labeling those folders, though. I'll give him that much. Nice sheen to him, nice polish. Everybody had their own little, little icon. Everything was in place. No, 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 no. I, I just got this new set. They're screwing it all up. Taft, stop them. Taft! The big standout for everyone I talked to, uh, which was basically just my mom. <laughs> Toasty! The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, that'd be a big mistake. I guess someone forgot to tell Ariel that or she wasn't paying attention when Sebastian busted out that beautiful number because she had no problem trading her soul to an evil sea witch for a pair of nice legs. Oh, you need to attract a good looking human you met for all of five seconds? I have an idea. Go seek out the sketchiest, scariest looking merwitch you can find and give her your voice for some flimsy promise. Ursula could have given her giant mammoth legs for all she knew. Elephant Titus, what was stopping her? She's a sketchy individual. Ariel may be deep in the ocean, but man is she shallow. Then there's Batman, the world's greatest detective, who didn't know that Superman had a mother? He didn't bother doing any background research on this guy at all. Figure out that he's Clark Kent. He can't figure out that this mammoth of a man puts on glasses and works at the Daily Planet? Are you kidding me? I can figure that out. You, I see that guy in the streets, I'm like, that's... That's Superman. Will Ferrell brings the funny as an evil billionaire dictator named Donald Trump. I mean, President Business. Trigger warning! He just got triggered. According to the Joker himself, gets a toned down voice this time by Zach Galifianakis. And this film has a star studded cast. <laughs> I'm so nerdy. It's epic. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Honey, where are my pants? All right, it's time to wrap this up. I got 12 more videos to post today. This is more than just reviews. This is movie feuds. This is Khaleesi Grimes, 1982, signing out. Ew, how hypocritical can you be, Preston Packard? I'm not gonna call you by your rank. No, you, you lost that privilege long ago when you lost my respect. What the, what the hell am I doing? Who am I talking to even? This is a fictional character. Let's move on. Reboot film, full of reboot people, waking up to say... I think it's gonna be the Stop. Album. What is happening? Stop everything, Adam. There is a war coming if you continue this feud. A rift will take place between those that prefer the original cast to the new toddler version. You're me from the future? My God, you look gorgeous still. You haven't aged a day. You're still wearing the same clothes and have the same crappy hairstyle, as a matter of fact. Almost like this show has no budget. We don't have time for banter. You must put an end to this madness before it's too late. X2 or Days of Future Past is gonna win anyway, so who cares? I'm not worried. No, you have it all wrong. X-Men Origins Wolverine wins. Bebop and Rocksteady stole the show and Krang was off the chain or hook if you must. Casey Jones, however, left a lot to be desired. Yolo! Anybody home in there? This is not what this guy's good at. He's known for playing a hard ass vigilante and other things. Just use him at what he does best. Nothing screams America more than a song being sung by a Canadian. Biggest question here today though is, 
What happens to a toad that is struck by lightning? The same thing Jesus that happens Christ. to everything else. Stop doing that. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Honestly, you are just yeah. a specimen. No, I know. I know. Breathtaking. Mm. The Ecto-1, the Proton Packs, Slimer, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, Crossing the Streams, and One Big Twinkie still get referenced today. Now we jump to the dickless cast of 2016. It's true. These women have no dicks. They look so fake, and that says a lot coming from costumed people. Their mouths never sink to their voices. Splinter didn't even have legs. He looked like he should have been on Sesame Street. La 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 la, la 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 la, Splinter's World. If you thought that was a tacky joke, bite me. On a related note, the voice of Splinter also was the voice of Elmo, so that was a topical joke. And you can talk to the hand. She decides that being dropped off by a complete stranger, she tells not to return to pick her up, even though she has no idea how she's gonna get home. In a remote location, she doesn't even know the name of, amongst a few sketchy individuals, is a nice day at the beach. The film also weaves in Robin's tragic backstory about how he loses his parents the same way most of us will, in a freak circus accident. And remember, this is more than what the hell is going on, future Adam, or Fatim for short, wearing the same outfit I am from the future. Again, you stupid, arrogant son of a bitch. I warned you that X-Men Origins Wolverine was gonna win on that X-Men feud and you did it anyway. This cannot continue to go on. We cannot allow Origins to go any further. Stop the comic bracket. And side note, you missed a ton of 80s and 90s slang terms. Don't have a cow man, bodacious, righteous, tubular, cowabunga. You didn't even say the main line from all the Turtles movies. You had one job. I could look at your pretty face all day long, but we need to finish this episode. Shall we outro together? More, More than, than just reviews. Views. This, this is, is Movie, movie Fuse. The red capes are coming. Look to the left and the red capes are coming. Look to the right and the red capes are coming. Everybody gets a red cape now. Everybody gets a red cape now. Red capes are coming. He may still be Santa, but he lacks any real presence. Thank you. Speaking of killer soundtracks, Suicide Squad has probably 80 songs in its movie. That, that's at a minimum. There's a little something for everyone. The music in Catwoman matches the quality of the film. Let me pair it with a fine set of dance moves from some other famous people that made themselves look like idiots. Woo! They are then whisked away to the North Pole. This is me whisking. Can we talk about the elephant in the room? Mina, voiced by Tori Kelly, is my least favorite cliche. He may have the qualifications to run a theater, but he's short on dough. As always, the celebrity voices are out in full force. Uh, Superman 4 is considered by many to be the worst of the franchise, and that's understandable. It is a total pile of human excrement. But let's not discredit 3 for setting the table of the shit fest that is to occur. Nuclear Man makes his big screen debut. He's a killer queen with razor sharp claws and a flash dance esque leotard. Watch out, fellas. Kitty can scratch. Anyway, that's because oh, I have done oh, this good. episode before, Adam. It's future Adam again. Yeah. I'm actually past Adam. Oh, okay. I never really understood past Adam. How does that even work? How would you know about anything going on in the future? You know, it doesn't matter. What do you want? Here's the deal. You covered the Fantastic Four films. You obviously thought most of them were piles of shit. There's no reason to redo them. So let's do the glorified clip show and move past this one. That sounds good to me. Okay, let's phone this one in. Oh, we're starting. We're doing the things. Citizen Kane. Jaws. The Godfather. The Shawshank Redemption, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and Suicide Squad, all timeless classic works of art. Now, some may say that Origins and Suicide Squad are the bloody stool of modern cinema. Not the people that voted in this comic book movie bracket featuring almost 100 contenders. All these great characters and moments is quite impressive. If I had to pick one personally, it'd be that Guardians. However, if you pick any of these four, I couldn't really argue with you. Which is crazy, because this is a show called Movie Feuds, so you'd think there'd be a Speaking Come on! of feuds, I told you this was gonna happen if you did another comic book episode, and here we are. And there's more of me again. When, when did this happen? Don't worry about it. It's on like Joss Whedon. Just came up with that.
Let's fight, poop face. Whatever! Get up! Wolverine Origins will not win. It was a joke. My fans won't let it go any longer. You failed them, Adam. You were the chosen one! I'm sorry, wait, did you just quote a line from the shitty Star no, Wars No, in the prequels? future, it's one of the most critically acclaimed movies of all time. No! I'm just gonna go. No wonder this channel doesn't have more subscribers. No. More than just reviews, this is Movie Fuse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm a joke.